Welcome back to another episode of DIY Golf Car Garage. Today we're going to be working on the Yamaha G29, or commonly known as the Drive. We're going to be doing a little fun work on it today. We're going to take the old stock shifter off. We have to reach down and turn it with your handle. And we're going to be putting on a Jake's Sport Shifter. This way we'll just be able to reach out, put it forward, reverse. Makes it a lot easier. So, got the instructions. I got the shifter itself. A little blank sheet of cardboard, which I'll show you what that's for. A couple of tools over here. I'm going to have my drill. Anytime you have a drill, don't forget your safety glasses. A marker. So, let's go over here to the workstation and get started taking this part apart. Okay, let's go ahead and totally disassemble the shifter assembly. Okay, next, I want to make me a little template. The instructions say that you can actually just put this up against the car and mark the holes, but I want to use a piece of cardboard so I can better adjust it without having this handle in my way. What I'm going to do is just put it in the center of the cardboard. The instructions tell me to use the two bottom holes and the two inside holes to mount to this car. What I'm going to do is mark it all the holes that I'll be using, both the top ones, bottom, and the center for alignment. And now to trim it out. Okay, what I've done here is I went ahead and cut out all the way around it. Mark my two holes at the bottom, mark the two at the top, cut the center portion out where the shifter actually comes through. Made me a little air there so I'll know which way is up. Little holes on the side where I like to be drilling through. I just got me a screwdriver, punched it through, trimmed off the excess. That way when I put it up against the body of the car, I don't worry about having those little hanging chads in my way. So now that I've got this, let's go over to the car and start taking that old shifter off. What I've done is I've went ahead and took the seat off to give us a little bit more elbow room here. Now what I want to do is put this car into the forward position. Take my small screwdriver and on the back side of the handle, there's a little C-clip. We want to just push on it, let it pop off, and keep it because we will be reusing that again. Just for safety's sake, I'm going to take the washer off, get the clip, put it off to the side. Now comes the template I made. I want to put it directly around the hole in the center. Look at it, make sure it's pretty even at the bottom. So that's going to be my reference point. Mark the holes. Now the instructions say get a 5 16 drill bit and drill through there. We all know a 5 16 is a pretty good size bit. So what I'm going to do first is drill me a pilot hole using a 1 8 drill bit. That'll make the 5 16 go, go through easier and smoother with less damage to the body. So let me get my drill and let's get started. Okay, now before we actually mount this to the car itself, this little piece up here that's got the little splines in it, we're going ahead and remove it, get it out of our way. That takes a 7 16 Now that I've got that off, we're going to go over there and actually mount this to the car. 
Keeping in mind there is a spacer which I've got marked already, passenger and driver side because the holes are off center. We do have the nuts and bolts here, long bolts on top, short bolts on the bottom. So let's go get this on the car. Okay, and just in case you're wondering, yes, I did test fit this to make sure everything did work. It does. And lucky for you that I did that because I can tell you easily, let's go ahead and mount the top bolts first. Now that I've got all the nuts securely on, we'll come back and slowly tighten each one at a time until I get them all real good and snug. Then we'll tighten it down just a little bit more and we'll be done. No use in over tightening. Okay, now before I tighten these down all the way, I want to go back and get our little fifth knob lever here. Now I want to put it over the splines and make absolutely sure that there's plenty of room around it. Because once I get these things tightened down all the way, can't move it anymore. So, I got plenty of room. Let me give it the final tightening. Now that we've got the bracketry secured to the car, we'll take the little shifter portion back out. Put our bolt going from the inside back out. We'll put this portion back on. And just on the neural area, now that we got it there, we'll take our spring clip that we had. Now, one thing the instructions don't tell you that this spring clip on some of the cars actually too long so what I do is trim them off the edges now that I've got it on line I put it on there slide it back tap it into place and we're good now it's time to connect up the heim joint Go ahead and secure this bolt here. Now this is a lock nut and we do not want to over tighten this. Make sure it's good and snug. Now. Reverse. Forward. Working good. Now we gotta do is put our cover back on, our face plate, our knob, and we'll be done. And now for the face plate. And of course I have one that doesn't want to go all the way in just right. So, little trick, small Phillips head. Put it in there, lightly rotate it. Move that spring nut around. And there she goes. Remember to get all of them in before you tighten them up all the way. They're all in. Get it good and snug. put our knob on and we'll be done.
Well, I hope today's episode, installing a Jake Sport Shifter on a Yamaha Drive was helpful. This sure does be having to reach down and move a little plastic lever. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And once again, thank you for visiting us here at DIY Golf Car Garage. <laughs>